my name's Stephanie. Welcome to another plan with me. Today I'm going to be creating a spread in my Big Happy Planner using the Plant Mama stickers that I just got a couple of days ago in the mail. But first, before I started that, I wanted to change out my discs to these really pretty rainbow glitter discs. If I can get them open. And the reason I want to do that is I don't really like the gold discs um, in my pictures. I kind of want to have a kind of more of a subtle look. So I'm going to switch these out, aren't they? Let's see if I can get them in. Are they pretty? All right, so if you've never changed out your discs, if you're new to Happy Planner, then this is for you. I am going to um, make it go faster. Here we go. So, switched out those discs. I think they're really pretty. I like it. It's a lot more subtle than the gold ones. I think the gold ones are a little gaudy. I still need to put my name in my planner. This should be the first thing you do, right? Um, I've only been using the big planner since this January, and I really like it. Um, but since I haven't had it for very long, I missed all of the hard uh, snap-in covers. Um, I do have a deluxe cover for it, but the hard snap-in covers really keep your discs from wiggling around and it makes the pages a lot easier to turn. And I really wish I had one and I will keep searching and trying to find one. All right, so I pulled my weekly pages out and now I'm going to start planning. Uh, the first thing I want to do is um, my daughter has a hip hop class all week and I like to use a piece of washi tape for things that go on all week and mark that so um, and I don't want anything else to get in the way of it. I typically put it in the middle boxes for some reason. And I chose this color washi tape because I think it'll go well with the plant colors that are in the sticker book. And it's also not a color that I'm likely to use much ever and I want to use all of the things that I have purchased so since it goes I'm going to use it um, I'm just not ever really gonna go for the more neutral tones like the earthy tones um, but I really do like plants a lot like before I moved across the country I did have like a whole um, succulent collection and we're in military housing and I don't have a lot of room for a lot of plants and it made me really sad when I had to get rid of them before so I haven't built my succulent collection back up but I do have a community garden plot where I'm growing some vegetables I've already had some vegetables come out of it, uh, including a really giant zucchini that I did not know was even growing in there. I just happened to be looking around in the 
leaves and saw it growing on the ground and I think I let it get too big to where it may not taste good but I'm going to try to make some zucchini bread out of it because apparently when they get too big um, they can be kind of mealy and then the only thing you can use them for is bread pretty much so and I also don't really like zucchini <laughs> very much um, don't ask me why I'm growing it um, I used to, when I was a kid, I really liked fried zucchini. Um, we lived in Greece for a little while. My dad was in the Air Force, and um, that was one of the few things that I would eat in Greece. I always wanted fried zucchini. So um, the last time I've had it in the United States, I didn't really like it very much. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, if I can make it to where I like it. So I really like a lot of these really big stickers. Um, I don't think I'll have enough room for all of them. I really like the teal colors. So let's definitely use that for the sidebar. It's kind of trying to pick out maybe my favorite ones. I love so many of these. I really like this book. I may not ever use these. Um, it's kind of a waste. I, you know, my garden plants pretty much have to be watered every day. And then my succulents need to be watered like once a week. So. It's not that hard to remember, and I don't really need a sticker to track it. So one thing I always do, uh, because I used to be a zookeeper, the weather was really important for me to look at ahead of time, so I'm in the habit of writing what the weather is. And now, since I have a garden, Um, tracking the weather is also important because my little community plot is kind of a, it's like a bathtub. It doesn't have, it has a bottom and when it rains, these undo. when it rains, it just fills with water and the water doesn't really go anywhere. We literally live in a swamp. And so it's really important for me to know when not to water. Um, which kind of didn't work very well for me this week because it was supposed to, like we had flash flood warnings and stuff. So it was like, I'm not gonna water my garden because it's about to get a whole lot of water. And then it barely rained at all. So I had to go kind of emergency water my plants because they were getting too dry. My little carrot seedlings were suffering. So anyway, don't really trust the weather very much. I just pulled that one out because it was crooked. And I'm gonna put this one up here. And hopefully not crooked. Please don't be crooked. It's a little hard to tell. It's still a tiny bit crooked, but ugh, okay. Really, like, do I want plant mama or plant lady? I think the plant mama sticker, even though I don't like being called mama, is prettier. 
My daughter is born in Arkansas and she used to call me mama because that's what, they said, what the, you know, the daycare ladies said to her and then it kind of stuck with her for a while and I was like, oh, I don't really like it. And this one says plant lady and that's cute. Yeah, for a lot of these I really like. These ones are clear. I think maybe for the spread I'll stick with the um, paper ones. Maybe. I might use some of these too. Let's Get one of these to write weather in for over here. We have been finding all sorts of really cool things to do. This would be really good of her over here to balance out that teal. I'm not sure where I put it though. Um, so yesterday we went to a beach near some cliffs where there used to be an ocean up on these cliffs and they're full of fossils and then the cliffs are, you know, weathering and falling into the ocean and um, there are a bunch of fossils in there and you can go to this beach and you can find all the fossils. And so we went and did that yesterday and it was a lot of fun. We found um, some shark's teeth and a dolphin bone and a piece of a ray jaw and sand, like fossilized sand dollar pieces and all sorts of really cool stuff. I don't know if I want to put this here because I feel like I'm going to end up with something over here. These are pretty hard to move around once I stick to the page. But, you know, we used to live in Colorado and not that close to the ocean. Um, I mean, Colorado actually used to be under an ocean, so you can find some fossils from the ocean there as well, but... Um, I don't know that you can find shark's teeth. Maybe you can. But you know, it's mostly dinosaur teeth that you can find there. Alright, so I do want um, a sticker there. I want to find a sticker there to put. Because she has hip hop class all week. Does anyone else use their Apple headphones um, for audio for their videos and then have Siri just randomly start talking to you while you're trying to talk? Because that's what just happened to me. I just wanted a color that was a lot different than this green because if you put a similar, like this green was you know, kind of close to that, but not exactly that, so I thought it would look weird. Alright, and then I have an appointment. 
on that day. I also need to think about where I want to put lines. Um, I don't usually do this, but I feel like I need to. Um, that's on a pencil. I don't want to end up with lines like this. So I could also put this down here. Let's do it. Eh, eh, eh. I also don't need I don't need um, check boxes on every single day because I will never fill them all unless I do like you know small the places I could possibly put which means I'm going to end up with a box and a box right next to each other so I probably won't do that one all right so it's an appointment let's do This color and I want to leave a little bit of room above it to write maybe the time not in the box. I don't think this sticker book has any things that say appointment um, but maybe modern year does. Let's see. I pulled this because these coordinate especially with the, the foil is the same color as the foil in these boxes. these really pretty weekend stickers. I think I might have to use one of those because I don't think I have anything like that. And here's appointment. All right, I'm glad I pulled this book after I brought it up here and kind of looked at it. I was like, I don't think I'm going to use that, but Let's see if there's anything else in here that I might. Oh, there's these ones too. I don't know, I think I might want to use these. All right, let's put this one back and I'm gonna pull the backing off to make it easier to cut it back. Otherwise it's kind of a pain. Take one of these appointment stickers. I'm going to move that. So let's use this. Let's see what else we can find in here to use. I mean, there's definitely a lot that I could use. I do I like these checklist stickers would be good. There's a lot of appointment stickers in here. Positive word. Okay. This color coordinates, all these colors coordinate really well with the plant book. But mostly I want to use the plant book even though these would go really well with it, but maybe later when I start running out of plant book stickers, then these two would go really well together. All right, I do think I'll use that box maybe on the other side. But this already says appointment. So let's use that. this weekend sticker. 
Off my wax paper, not taking any wax paper with it. Then we'll put it over here. And I don't always um, erase these lines in the middle of stickers because I feel like it's a planner and it's okay for a planner to have lines in it because, you know, it's a planner. But sometimes when there's a line in the middle of a word, I find it kind of distracting, especially when the letters are super light. So I just take a jelly roll and it's the thick one, the 1.0. Let that dry for a second. I think this is starting to look really cute. All right, and I think maybe I'll just put a few checklist lines in each, excuse me, in each box. Maybe just like three of them. Because if I get too many, then I am never going to finish all of it. I mean, I'm never going to have enough to even fill it up because I don't really always have that many to-dos. I have no idea how my watch is running out of battery, but it is. It's the morning and I barely used it today. All right, there are those really cute checklist stickers. So I'm going to leave room for that. Draw some lines. All right, I'm going to speed this up. All right, so I drew in all of my lines and I tried to vary where they were a little bit. Looks like this one isn't exactly straight, but you know, if I had it at the bottom of the box here, the next one would be at the top and then the bottom, just so that they're not all right next to each other and it looks a little different. So the other thing I'm going to do is try to find those little headers to do headers in the modern year. The checklist. The checklist and tasks. We're going to have to use some of each because I only have five of them. Are there only five? But let's take all of those. You could also use remember. And then Tasks, let's do tasks. So, maybe this one. All right. So, I'm just going to put one of these at the top of each of these. The check boxes, checklists. I think I'm going to use my tweezers. I don't really use my tweezers that often, but it makes it easier to put them straight sometimes if they're kind of small.
the intermix tasks in here. I don't always label these, you know, checklists and tasks either. I just thought these were kind of cute, you know, because I know it's a checklist. It doesn't have to say checklist. And it is Sunday, the day I'm hopefully going to edit and post this. And I already, I mean, I don't have a lot to put in here yet. Um, this will be where I will remember to give my dog his, one of his monthly medications. So I have all the boxes that I need. I only need those three. So let's find some other things to put in here. Some other boxes. These things always come up. Like I don't even know what you know we're gonna plan to do on the weekend yet. Alright, so I have some of these. Don't really have pink on this side of the page, so let's do that. Right here. And I need probably a box here. Let's do green. These are my favorite size boxes. They just always seem to work out the best. Um, maybe some of the ones with foil on them too. Let's do, I already have one of those. Um, I need some more of this color on this side of the page. So let's do that. I don't have a box on Saturday. So what color should I put there? I don't want to introduce yellow. I don't have yellow anywhere else. Maybe we'll go back to the non-foiled ones. And let's just do light blue. I think it goes. All right, now I want to do some more decoration. And I don't think this book doesn't have any like just big quotes really. It has some like you grow girl, which I don't think will really fit. But the modern yearbook had some big quotes. in your best life, choose gratitude, be your own hero. All right, let's do dreams don't work unless you do. very much wanting to stay 
within the boxes lately. I don't know, I think my life has been a little hard to manage for me. And so the very neat and organized placement of this has just worked better for my brain lately. All right, I think that looks really pretty. And then I really like um, these plants, but they're exactly like the plants in one of the other books. I did a whole spread using those, except for they're smaller. Except this one. So I might use that little greenhouse. Or there were some other ones in the back that are different. So this little greenhouse would still fit there. Plants are friends. Life is short by all the plants. I really want to make a t-shirt that has a bunch of succulents on it and says just one more plant. Because that's me. Just one more. One more won't hurt. Alright. I think this greenhouse is the win. And even though I probably won't use all this space, I do want to leave some white space because, you know, throughout the week is things things come up and I want to add a box for something. If I fill it up too much, I won't have enough room for it. I need to move this down some. Sorry, paper. Sorry, sticker. This is going to have to be down as far as it can go. And there's just a teeny tiny bit that hung over the edge. And if I can find my stickers, I will cut it, or my scissors, I will cut it off. Alright. I really should find a pen holder for up here to keep all the tools, but I also do a lot of you know, just filling out my week as I go along downstairs. So I like to just bring all my pens and tools in a bag up and downstairs. All right, I think we might need some more of these kinds of stickers just scattered around. Especially this box is the only one that doesn't have anything in it. Although these clear stickers are kind of bright compared to the other ones. But maybe I should have used this one. It's really small though. I think there's a bigger one like that somewhere. I also really like these long stickers, but I don't I didn't leave anywhere that I could use those. So those are going to be another spread. All right, we have this. No, oh, it's right there. I can't do that. All right, let's take this backing off too so it's easier to put back. Not to fight with trying to put it back in the lines. All right, and let's do, I already have this, this plant right here too. So let's do this one. Maybe a little watering can. And I use a spray bottle all the time. And I really like this pile of books. Maybe this lantern.
Okay, so this box is just really empty and needs a friend so that it doesn't feel lonely. And I just feel like we kind of need something up here. So let's do that. I don't want everything to end up down here on the bottom. Now I feel like it's just a little open up here for something. So let's do a little lantern. And then I just want to add some washi tape. And I pulled the brown grid washi tape. So just add it in a few places. Kind of fill up some space. So where it looks a little empty. I'm just going to, that one's probably okay. Let's rip this side a little bit, maybe. Mm. Now that I like that, I think I might want to cut it straight along the line. So just move it over a little bit and then just trim it here. Trim this one. Leave this side a rough edge. Sorry, I was trying to get tape off of me. Um. So, that's the straight edge here. And here. All right, so I probably will mute out the part where my dog is just barking because my daughter got locked outside. But I think that's it for my spread. My daughter Layla's here and wants to say hi. Hi. All right. Um, so I think it turned out really cute and I like it. It's very uh, kind of neutral muted colors, which is really pretty. I think this is my favorite sticker. That one's your favorite. I like that one too. I also like this one. 
Mm -hmm. It's like this one, but all the plants just kind of exploded out of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.